subscribers walk one, walk one, walk one. Watch this now. Some songs need no introduction. Bob Marley, one drop, electric guitar. Grab yours, let's go. Alright my people, so here we go. Bob Marley one drop electric guitar. What should I start with? Stock line or should I just start with the There's so many things to this song? See, it takes discipline to play reggae, you know. Reggae is not one of those music that you're all over the place. You have to keep it steady. Especially if you are the um if you are the rhythm guitarist. Alright? So let's start with the cards. Alright? The song is in the key of C. C major. Four cards. It's a one, six, a two, to a five. All right. Nevertheless, I do not play it like the, you know, like some people do. You know, I'm gonna play it my way. You know, the way I play my cards, the way I, the shapes that I use. All right, because I think it's sweeter. All right. I remember, if you're playing with a band, you need to play mostly on the thinner strings because you want it to be just enough to cut through the mix. I understand? All right. So let's start with the with the cards. Now you wanna come up all the way here. And of course, I did an acoustic version to this one, so you can go ahead and check it out somewhere up here. You know, you can hit it, you know. And of course, guys, if you want to learn more, go in more like in depth, check out the information at the starting of the video. You know, link me up and we can start getting some stuff done. All right, I hope I'm not talking too fast for you guys. I just want to get into the tutorial. So here we go. All right, all the way up here to the five, six, seven, eight fret. Bar the eight fret with the pointer finger, place that middle finger on the third string 9th fret pinky finger on the fourth string 10th fret ring finger fifth string 10th fret right there all right so now that's your that's your c okay all right i hope this guitar is in tune and everything you know no, but all right nevertheless here we go um so c major so that's a one the six which is the a minor you can play it here of course it's good by the fifth fret ring finger on the fifth string seventh fret pinky finger below at the fourth string if you know me well if you have been following me you know that I do not play re that the straight minor play minor sevenths. That's what I use. Because it gives it a sweeter sound for me. You know? Alright, so so we already have the one. At times you can put the six here. And to get to form this shape. Alright. You want to place the pointer finger on the seventh fret. Place the arm. Um, middle finger on the first string eighth fret ring finger on the third string ninth fret pinky finger on the second string tenth fret that's the a minor just right here so let's move on so you already have the one to the six or this one to the six all right then D minor, instead of using this one here, let's jump to this one. And of course, I do not play D minor, play D minor 7, that's what I use. Bar the whole 5th fret, place the middle finger on the 2nd string, 6th fret, pinky finger on the 3rd string, 7th fret, ring finger, 4th string, 7th fret. Lift the pinky finger and you'll get that D minor 7. Alright, but that's not too loud. Then the next card is a G. So you can play it here like you all you all know. Bar the third fret with the pointer finger, middle finger on, 
third string, fourth fret, pinky finger, fourth string, fifth fret, ring finger, fifth string, fifth fret. That's your G. As well as you can play this G all the way up here to the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fret by the 10 fret and place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the 12th fret right there. You can also use this one. And this one, you want to bar the whole 7 fret. Middle finger on the second string, 8th fret. Ring finger on the 4th string, 9th fret. Pinky finger on the 5th string, 10th fret. That's another G right there. So you choose which one makes you feel comfortable. Now, my G is what I use here. So it's like you're farming that D and you bring it all the way up here. All the way up here to the 7th fret starting and then you place the pinky finger on the 4th string right there. Which is going to be the ninth fret. 4th string ninth fret. So you farm the D here, then bring it all the way up to the 7th fret. Place the pinky on the 4th string, ninth fret. Now you, you want to bring the thumb over just to mute these strings. So it will sound like this. Alright, I hope you got all those. I'm trying not to make this tutorial too long. Alright, so yeah, those are the cards. So now, before I move any further, I am using my Pod HD 500X FX, you know, board. And I'm running it through my Focusrite, you know, my Scarlet, you know, and I send everything in Logic Pro, all right? But most of what you're hearing is coming from my Pod HD 500X, all right? So that's my setting there. Of course, I'm using an hollow body, you know, Ibanez. I, think I like this because I like the reggae sound that it gives, you know, or probably the way I tune it. See how I say? So, um, I like that sound. That delay, you know, I had a little bit of delay I had sometimes a little bit of reverb. But that's just about it when it comes to playing reggae, really. You know, you do not want to overdo it. Okay? Do not overdo it. Alright, so um, yeah. So yeah, now you got the cards. So you can use these. I would recommend that you use these. This C to this A minor to this D minor 7. And try your best to catch this one. If you can hear. This gives it a sweet song when you're playing the cards. Alright. So. Yeah. Now. As for your strumming. You can choose if you want to use a little bit of. And then. Now remember, this hand and this hand should be coordinating, all right? When you strike, you want to squeeze and release almost instantly. You squeeze, but you do not come up too much for it to ring out. You want to come up so this hand can damp the sound, you know, for it not to ring too much. You don't want it to be like... It's not going to sound too good. You want it to be more like... So without all those, you want to hear. Instead of, you know, you don't want to really, you don't want to really hear that. Okay, so let's get back to that. Take this off. So, 
You want to strike, remember it's reggae and reggae is on the down. The down stroke. Alright? My bad. <laughs> right? So, um, let's make sure you do that. So now, let's get to um, that stock. And of course, if you want to use a little bit of wah, I use my wah pedal at times. So what I'm doing right now, I'm basically going back and forward slowly with the foot. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So now, let's get to the stock line. So for the stock line, for the stock line, I'm not going to play, I'm not going to call the notes. I'm going to play it slow so you guys can hear like I normally do. All right? Stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. You know, gives it that sugar. Remember, your guitar is to sweeten the music. All right? So um, it goes like this. All right, so you're basically right there in the C. You know, it's like the C major scale you're playing around with. So here we go now, slow. And remember to alternate the picking, it's much easier. All right, and to get that mute, you know, you gotta use it to palm muting. So it, it should sound like. So yeah, that's it for the stock line. If it was too fast, slow it down. Remember, when you practice, practice slow. Do not try to overdo it. Do not try to move too fast. Remember, when we prepare stuff for you guys, most of the time we spend time, sometimes a few days. It depends on the song. It can take up to a few months. <laughs> you know what I mean? To figure it out. All right, so go slow, you know, and it will be more effective. I think that should cover everything. Right? Like I said, if it was too fast, slow it down. If there's anything that I could have done to make it easier, let me know. Remember my name, Zion Blessed Love. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button also. Blessed Love. Peace out. See you next time.